Welcome back to Kristen's Decor. Um, so today I wanted to do a DIY uh, fire pit makeover. So I already have my fire pit up. I got some Anirondack chairs and I wanted to add some posts and I bought some solar lights. So I wanted to kind of make it a nice little vibe uh, for the evenings when you're hanging out, uh, having friends over, playing with the kids, roasting marshmallows. So um, I got some wooden posts, got some solar lights, um, you need a post digger and um, your solar lights. So what I'm going to do, we're just me I'm just going to measure um, between the stakes to make sure they're far enough apart and then I'm going to start digging my posts. create four posts to go around. I'm not going to do the lights over the fire because I don't want it to get burned or if it's, you know, uh, goes up in smoke. You don't want to do that. So I want to kind of do the lights around. So um, it's going to take a little bit. So let's get to it. Now we have to do this, my allergies are really bad, uh, three more times. So we are gonna continue this and we'll show you the finished product. Hard work. Yep, there's. <laughs> so I have my honey bun, Chris, helping me today since my hand's sore from digging. Hi guys. And I have a blister, so we're gonna put the post in today, and we're gonna level them, and then fill it the hole with dirt. So now that we've got this in, make sure you have that. It's gonna go down. Remember, I dug three feet. Get your level out. Make sure it's leveled, and then we will fill this with dirt. We did one already, so. Alexis is helping. She's making sure to help with the dirt. Pack it in, rake it up, shovel it. So we have four posts that we're gonna complete and then we'll begin to hang the light. get the hooks and we're gonna hang them from here and then we're gonna string our solar lights and let them one hour later I can't even think of the word <laughs> charge from the sunlight so that we can show you the finished product that night and we're gonna set up our, um, our anirondack chairs and our tiki torches too to keep them nasty bugs away so let's get to it so you 
get your hook and screw it in all the way and now it's secure. Boom. Have a great day. I'm gonna show you guys the progress of that. So here's the hole. And you just wanna keep going down so that um, it's deep enough to put your post in and it's not gonna fall out. Some of these have roots down here so it's hard to get. Yep. <laughs> try, to, try to chop them up it's, and bring it up. It's a Lexus recording mom. <laughs> me. Do you do a little deeper or? Oh. <laughs> 